Do you know why February only has 28 days? There's a historical reason behind it. A year is supposed to be 365 days, but it wasn't always like that. Back in the day, they were trying to sort it out with different systems, and it ended up being a 304-day year with 10 months, which isn't really a full year. Later, a king named Numa Pompilius added an 11th and 12th month to make it match up better, bringing it to 355 days. By adding those months, guess what? February was born. But even then, the calendar still wasn't right, and that's when the famous Julius Caesar stepped in to fix it all. He figured out the solar year really well and set it to 365 days, deciding that odd-numbered months would have 31 days and even-numbered months would have 30. To deal with the leftover days, he made February 29 days and added an extra day every four years, which finally made the calendar work perfectly. And because he was such an important guy, the month of July was named after him. But then Augustus, the guy who became emperor, wanted a month named after himself too. They wanted to make August feel special since they were born in that month, so they turned it into August Stello. But even though there are technically 31 days in the news, they couldn't stand only having 30 days, so they decided to skip a day from February. That's why February, which used to have 29 days, 